Hello, welcome to lesson 32, Multicast Delegates, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what Multicast Delegate is. So, before understanding the Multicast Delegate, one has to have a good idea on Delegate. So, if you guys are not aware of Delegate, I would like to suggest you to watch my previous videos which complete which explains you completely about the delegates so please refer to my videos 30 and 31 to understand the delegate so right now what we'll do is we'll jump into next slide and understand what is multicast delegate okay multicast delegate is a delegate which is pointing to more than one function so when you invoke a multicast delegate all the functions the delegate is pointing to are invoked to understand this very clearly, in the previous session, we created a delegate and we invoked a method using a delegate. So, what we'll do right now is, we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll just recall what we did in the previous session. I'm firing Visual Studio. Here is my console template. So, what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to show you how to create a delegate and how do you invoke a method using a delegate. So, first let us create a delegate public how do you create a delegate it's very simple delegate keyword followed by the void and the delegate name I'll name the delegate as demo delegate sorry my delegate name is demo delegate this is the signature or the syntax how do you create a delegate with the access modifier and the delegate keyword and the return type and a delegate name. This is how, how you create a delegate. So my delegate name here is delegate demo. Demo delegate, sorry. Now if I want to invoke a method using a delegate, the condition is the method which is going to be invoked by a delegate should also have the same signature as that of delegate. So what we'll do is we'll just create a method which is having the signature same as the delegate. Public and it returns nothing method name is demo method I'll name it as method 1 okay this is how and this method is going to print as demo method 1 invoked okay now I'm having a delegate and I created a method which is having the same signature as that of the as that of the delegate so my next job is I want to create an instance of a delegate then I want to invoke this method so I'll make this method a static so then there will be no necessity of creating an instance of the class program then invoking this method so I made it a static so what I'll do is I'll just create a delegate instance how do I create delegate instance del is the variable and new keyword and I'm going to create an instance of demo delegate demo okay then I'll pass the method which it is going to invoke but the method name is sorry demo method one this is the method which my delegate is going to invoke so okay now I'm creating invoking the delegate so what happens is what I've done here is first I created a delegate instance then I've created <coughs> a method which I, which is exactly the same signature of the delegate then I'm creating an instance of a delegate then I'm invoking this method so what we'll do is we'll just run this program and we'll just confirm the delegate is working okay the build succeeded and it is invoked the method demo method one this is how the delegate works now we'll jump back into presentation we'll observe what is our key job here here we have to create a multicast delegate so we'll jump back into Visual Studio and we'll just see how to create a multicast delegate now what I'll do is I'll just create another methods on the two methods which have exactly the same signature of the delegate I'll name it as demo demo method 2 okay and I'll just copy this and I'll paste this Okay, I want to create another method as V and this is the demo method 3. The same here I'll copy the method name and 
passing it to the console dot write line okay now we can observe in the previous demo what I showed uh, it just invoked the one method that is demo method one now I'm having similarly the other two methods that, that is demo method two and demo method three now now here we're going to see a demo of multicast delegate it means that one delegate is invo is going to invoke multiple functions how to do that it's very simple now what I'll do is I'll just delete this part now now um, how to create a multicast delegate uh, multicast delegate can be done in two approaches I will jump back into presentation here you can see depending on the approaches we use there are two approaches to create a multicast delegate one using the plus or plus equal to and minus or minus equal to to understand this very clearly we'll jump back into Visual Studio here what we are going to do is we are going to invoke multiple methods using a delegate reference okay first what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just create a delegate reference demo delegate okay now since we are having three methods what we'll do is we'll create uh, multiple references of a delegate multiple instances of a delegate so what I'll do is del3 comma I'll also create four instances of a delegate now what did I do is I just created the four instances of a delegate demo delegate so what I'll do now using del1 is equal to new demo delegate and I'm passing the method called demo method one okay for the one for the instance del one I'm passing I'm passing a method demo method one to invoke so similarly what I'll do I'll just copy this control V control V and this I'll name it as two and this is three since I'm having four instances I can invoke each method using a single instance two and this is gonna be three okay now I'm left out with the one instances that is del4 now I'll take the del4 instance then what I'll do is I'll just pass del1 plus del2 sorry del3 I'll just place semicolon now you can observe what we did was we just created four instances of a delegate then for each instance of delegate we are assigning each method that is for del1 we assigned a demo method 1 del2 is demo method 2 and del3 is demo method 3 now for the fourth instance that is del4 what we are doing is we are passing all the delegate instances that is del1 and del del2 and del3 to the del4 now del4 is the guy is the instance which is going to invoke all these methods that is dem met demo method 1 demo method 2 and demo method 3 now what we'll do is we'll just invoke del4 now we'll just see the output okay now when I do this and when I run the program you can observe all the three methods get invoked now you can observe this is what we call as multicast delegate one delegate that is del4 instance is going to invoke the multiple methods that is what we call as multicast delegate you can observe we have done the chaining of a delegate instances this is what we exactly call the multicast delegate chaining okay now we understood how to create a multicast delegate similarly if I want to if I don't want this method to invoke how do I remove this method del2 if I want to don't want to invoke that method it's very simple in this chaining you just had the minus signature with the particular method which you want to remove from that delegate which is going to invoke so now when I run this program you can observe this simple mathematics this del2 and this del2 is going to cancel and del1 and del3 will, will be going to execute this is what we call as chaining multicast delegate chaining now when I run this program you can observe only method 1 and method 3 uh, is going to be invoked not the method 2 because here we just detached that method 2 by adding a minus signature we'll jump back into presentation we observe this is what I showed that there is plus and minus signature how to use this is what the multicast delegate is now we'll observe how to make this use of this plus equal to and minus equal to it's very simple now what I'll do is I'll just remove this entire thing and now I'll go to 
going to create a delegate instance delegate demo del new delegate demo now what I'll do is I'll just pass okay sorry this is not the guy we have to call this method sorry demo delegate okay this is the one and variable is del and I'm going to demo delegate now what I'll do is I'll just invoke one method that is demo method one okay now if I want to invoke the other methods without creating the multiple instances of the delegate how do I do that it's very simple to this del this to this reference using this using this reference I want to invoke the rest of the two methods how do I invoke it's very simple plus equals just pass the method other just pass the other two methods which are left that is demo method 2 demo method 2 and the other left is demo method 3 Now I'm going to invoke this del instance, the delegate instance. Okay, when I do this, sorry, when I do this, which which are the methods that are going to invoke? All the three methods. That is dem demo method one, demo method two, and demo method three. Now you can observe how we make use of this plus equal to operator. If you are having a single instance, to that single instance, if you want to attach the other rest of the methods, then use this type of equal to plus or equal to it's very simple now when I run this you can observe the all the three methods get invoked for example if I want to detach the method 2 how do I do that del equal to demo method 2 I want to just detach it from the delegate which is going to invoke now you can observe only the instances only the methods which are going to execute us method 1 and method 3 because here in the second sentence we are adding a method and in the final we are just deleting it so we are just unchaining it so in the run this program you can observe only the method 1 and method 3 are getting executed this is what the multicast delegate is and based on the approaches we have two types we will jump back into presentation you can observe here based on the approaches we use plus to register a method to a delegate and minus to just unregister a method with the delegate that's what we did here and that's that's all about multicast delegate and here you can see a clear cut explanation of what I did in the program there you can observe this is the usage of plus and minus your the usage of plus equal to or minus equal to it means that if you're having a multiple instances take one instances and add the other instances to it to just invoke from a single delegate and if you are having a single instance then for that single instance it's going to invoke multiple methods then use this type plus equal to or plus minus to detach and this is what about the multicast delegators thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankh Pro training Thank you.